Now this is the two parts. We have some parcel and any question and question. Mr. Pachi has uh, submitted an application to the inspection services for a change of use permit. Uh, right now it's zoned for commercial. Uh, um, he had his store there for over 40 years. He has uh, many of you know the post his store as October 4th, uh, 2014. Uh, uh, since then he's uh, 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 decided to do a, a parking lot. Um, and that's going to be the change of use. Uh, he's asking for 25 parking spaces right now. With, uh, with his existing so he had uh, parking for, I believe, 12 uh, vehicles. Uh, I have uh, submitted to uh, inspection services. Um, we have been denied uh, by the uh, uh, zoning board until we did the emergency meeting. We had an emergency tonight with uh, Maria Manza. Uh, I have some documents here that uh, has his existing conditions and then it is uh, proposed. What would be, um, is this like the long-term plan for this place? Uh, I, don't, I don't think it is. I mean, uh, I'm sure everyone knows that Cross Street is a very um, attractive uh, real estate area. Um, he has been approached by developers. Uh, he is not uh, committed to anything. I think this temporary parking uh, just uh, helps him to improve his image. Uh, he's not happy that he had to close the uh, store. Uh, the store, as you can see, the, the signs are falling down. He's concerned about uh, the roof uh, on, uh, on uh, the existing uh, structure. Uh, that it, it'll cave in as the other structure that he had there, but if it is, it will be in there the most. So his only uh, plan is to do uh, parking uh, temporary. How big of the space is it? If you, if you demolish the building, how much? Uh, 10,500 square feet. I guess I would say that just my concern is that it's um, you're, you're losing a um, commercial space um, for you know, a store that's been there for many, many years. That can be quite hard to reinstate. You're not even anticipating keeping this license. Um, there's no way to, you know, rent out the storefront in, in the interim. I mean, is it preferable to... I don't, I've, been, I've been with Joe now for a little bit more than a year. I think he tried uh, for, for a long time with uh, the North End Shore, as is right now. Uh, I, I mean, the, the big thing, as you know, the big thing really impacted is his store. Um, I just don't think that he sees the footprint there. Yeah. <laughs> or have a, a lease, somebody lease it out, so he's not exploring. No, I, I, I think he did think through that, but I think it's just so much work that has to be done through the buildings. That, uh, it's, it's not an attractive, right now it's not an attractive uh, site. I, I think the concern that, that I have, to be honest with you, is, is you know, once the genie is out of the bottle, he gets back in, and if you make that into a parking spot, I'm not sure it's the most sightly thing for the neighborhood, but also I don't know that you'll get a commercial development back. And, and my concern is that's permanently going to be a parking spot. Um, but you're saying it's kind of just, uh, he would like it to be temporary. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I understand. You see what I'm saying? I understand exactly yeah. what you're saying. I, 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 Joe's uh, in a little bit of a, a, a dilemma. You know, he's, He's a North End guy. Yeah. Uh, right now he's up in Sardis. Uh, but um, uh, the developers that he's been approached by, he, he makes it clear that they have to do right by the North End. And he just, he just hasn't been able to find uh, the right group. So he's a limo because he, he has a lot of expenses there now. He really doesn't uh, want to uh, do another store yet. Um, so he knows. I think that he's not put down the soldiers, he gets prayed out of buddies meeting tonight. Uh, it's common use, common concerns was uh, on Morton Street on the back there, they see a lot of uh, vagabonds, they even see some drug dealing back there. So they would prefer to have a living from uh, maybe you can put up some lighting, do a beautification program, put up some landscaping all around there. I 
think that's uh, something that you'll be doing. And, and what's the means of be, what's the means of getting there? How would you, is it one way in? One way in. So it's going to be the, the brick, the brick, yeah. the brick way that right the end, the end, end on Cross Street Mission. Right before you, there's an entrance, uh, right. the car has to get into the expressway. Will it be uh, automatic? So right now it's just a change. Yeah, just now it's a change. So that uh, the abutters meeting that also came up tonight uh, will fix some problems there. And that that fence that we put up was uh, is also temporary because we had a fence there before uh, last year during the snowstorms of this past year when the city plowed up against the fence it damaged the fence. So we just we wanted to do that temporary. This isn't going to be for like valet. It's at, at, at the moment, and as far as I understand, he's already torn down the building. I think it was the improv asylum a few years ago. Yeah, just like one or two years ago. And he started using it for parking, but there was no um, presentation then to use it for parking. I guess I'm just confused now why it's it's now in the second building. There's this. Um, I was uh, I've I, I, only been with him for about a year. Uh, okay. I'm on a consulting basis. I'm really handling a lot of his uh, his retail operations. Uh, his two other ones in the city and some of them. Uh, so I just um, I don't you know I don't have an answer for that. You know why you know why now? Why didn't he apply back then? <coughs> I think it's, he had a, a store there, and I think people just use it as parking. Is it going to be primarily monthly parking, or to the point that uh, also daily pay by the day or valet and things like that? I don't know. If, you know, I think he's, he's entertained uh, all, all of that. Uh, right now, I think the, the, the people that park there are uh, people from Remax and people that work in a lot of work on um, on the uh, street. Uh, you know, he's, he's, he has parking now for 13 vehicles, we'll go up to 25. Uh, you know, I, think, yeah, I think that just helps him cover his expenses, you know, moving forward until, uh, you know, until the right developer comes along, and then that'll be another battle. With, you know, with your brothers, with, you know, well, do you have a sense of what the, uh, the zoning by right is there? Uh, it, it is 55 uh, feet by right. The brothers that we met tonight, they made it clear that they, you know, they don't want it. You know, why does it have to be 55? Is there a question? You know, we're sensitive to them, but they don't want to take a test. You know, something that they're possibly going to address or something that they're going to do. Well, it's going to be an issue that they're going to have to address. Yeah. Well, it's going to be an issue that they're going to have to address. Yeah. Well, it's going to be an issue that they're going to have to address. Yeah. Well, it's going to be an issue that they're going to have to address. Yeah. Well, it's going to be an issue that they're going to have to address. Yeah. Well, it's going to be an issue that they're going to have to there was a lot of trash that used to build up there. After you closed the, 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 the business, there was trash building up there. Uh, there was a lot of uh, vagabonds. And, you know, there was some trash being going on there. Can you tell us what was going on? Yes, it would be. We would be. They put a valve. One idea that he's entertaining is, if you're familiar with his old store, uh, where the deli was, up right next to Maria's. He will probably keep that uh, uh, still operational somehow and just sell, sell sandwiches and then that's where the parking attendant uh, would, be, would be on that side. Would he be willing to put it in writing that this parking would be temporary? Yes. I'm sure he would. The parking permit for parking lots comes up automatically every so many Every so many years, you have to write a just like they do down the water. Right. No, I understand. I just Again, my concern is it's working out well. You're still on the spot every day, and, and you know it, it's it's a very capital. It's not a very uh, uh, you don't need to do a whole lot to make a parking lot work. You know, no, if, yeah. if the numbers work, yeah, there will never be any development. It's just going to be a, a slow. No, but I, what I, I mean, I, I appreciate your comments. I will let you know that if this is a possibility, that if he changes this to parking, then you might have to go through a whole different process for. Uh, that, uh, the commercial. Well, and that's that's the right. That's, that's the concern. That, and I'll, I yeah. will let them know. Are you, are you hiring a company to run the parking lot? I don't think. Uh, I think we want. We, 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 we need to get. Uh, 
we want to get the feedback first. And if he gets the approval, then I think he's going to invest the time into uh, protect, you know, he'll do it professionally. Uh, but he, he's not, I mean, if you see his operations on the seaport at, at the Mass General Hospital and up in Saugus, uh, he, he runs a first class operation. Yeah. I, would, I would just say, too, I mean, I, I, I think that area, maybe not for those that live here, but for those visiting, they don't even know that cars can drive there anyway. Right. So I would just, I just want to make sure that it, that's in the process of when we're doubling the parking spots now and increasing traffic, we're just mindful of the pedestrians that probably don't know they're on the road. Right, yeah. No, I, we, are aware, we are aware that uh, Joe and I have talked about it. Um, and we don't want, obviously, to be up front in front of the microphone, so I think that's been blocked off now. So yeah. That happens, so we wouldn't want that to happen with the cars. But um, it, it is, it, it is a safety issue. Any questions from the audience? Any other voters? The buzzing went well with uh, four of in attendance. They discussed beautifying the lawn, and you know they think that they'd rather a parking lot than a building at this point. And so they just want to make sure that uh, the proponent stays in commitment to make sure to get a new fence instead of the chain drags on the fence makes a lot of noise at night so if they do get CBA permission to build a better fence and kind of keep the area well lit and safe so they were all no, no one in opposition did. Does Joe Anderson have a sense that that location is just untenable when it comes to a commercial profitability? Because <coughs> it seems like his product I mean, yeah, he's yeah. Jay so yeah. he has an outstanding product. Uh, I mean, uh, he runs. Uh, I think. I mean, I have a good background in that uh, in that field, and uh, the fact that he has a lot of employees that have been with him 20 to 40 years. I mean, he, he's a good operator. Uh, and, uh, and I think he, he gave his hard work. That's where he started. I, I think that the, the impact of uh, the you know uh, uh, the artery there. Just people with all that construction that goes on there, and that it's the entrance to 93. So I think the, the developer that comes in has he's going to have a tough nut to solve that. Well, that, that's the question: is yeah. whether anything could work at that location. Yeah. That's I mean uh, I'm bringing in uh, some other consultants to want to kind of address that. I think he needs a few years time to improve his image. So he just doesn't like what he sees. There. I mean, if you think it's in question, the best thing that probably was going to happen under the Well, yeah, that would be great to see. Contractors, you should, some of the contractors you should talk to is housing yes, sure. and yeah. income. But that whole strip is not no. zoned for it. Well, it's not. It's owned uh, part of the Hanover Street so right. Commercial Industrial Site. It's not Commercial Industrial Site. But I, this would send thousand square feet. Yeah. Yeah. But this would, 10,000 square feet from the footprint would probably be a big project. Yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, maybe, maybe, I think we're just, I think we're just underneath. Might not be a lot. Okay. Uh, there's no other questions. Somebody want to make a motion? I move that we uh, take a vote on the presentation to change the zoning to allow the parking at 46 cross streets. And I'll remind the other councilmen to pass the other previous votes down if you would. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you.